Imagine leaving your house without your phone or any other tool needed for survival. You go into the nearby mountains and spend the night. Would you survive? Would you be afraid of the sounds you hear in the woods? How would you stay warm? In the past, our ancestors lived in a cold, cruel world. It was filled with hostile tribes, saber-toothed cats, and other fearsome animals. How did our early ancestors adapt? This video list goes over five important terms. Hominins, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Neanderthals, and Homo sapiens. The first term is hominin. A hominin is an early ancestor to humans. What's the difference between a hominin and a hominid? Well, a hominin is a broader classification and includes more animals, such as gorillas. Paleoanthropologists study early hominins. There are four basic types of hominins this list will cover. These are Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Neanderthals, and Homo sapiens. The root of the word derives from Latin, and it means man. The first of the hominins I will discuss on this list is Homo habilis. Homo habilis, also called handyman, lived between 2.4 million years and 1.5 million years ago, according to evidence paleoanthropologists have uncovered. Homo habilis could walk on two feet and could make tools. This made it a biped, and a biped means walking on two feet. This allowed them to carry food, make tools, and carry their young. Homo habilis remains have only been found in Africa. The second type of hominin discussed on this list is Homo erectus. Homo erectus were the first hominins to migrate out of Africa. The evidence for Homo erectus suggests that they lived between 1.9 million years and 140,000 years before Common Era. There is evidence that Homo erectus was the first hominin to use fire. This allowed them to use less energy and consume more calories. This in turn probably led them to developing bigger brains. Evidence for Homo erectus has been found on the island of Java, in Indonesia, and on Japan. They made more complex tools than Homo habilis, including stone hand axes. They also probably painted their bodies with ochre and built huts made from trees. The third hominin discussed in this list are Neanderthals. Neanderthals had large brains, made complex tools, and lived in communities. The first evidence for Neanderthals was found in the Neander Valley in Germany. The skeleton had thick bones and a, a large ridge above its eyes. Neanderthals lived after upright man from 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. So this was very recent in Earth's history and they lived alongside mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and modern humans. They were shorter and stockier than modern humans. They hunted, and anthropologists have found spears and other tools used in their huts. They also cared for their sick and buried their dead. One mystery remains, however. Why did Neanderthals vanish? Was it disease? Was it genocide? Was it breathing for modern, with modern humans? Or something else? Last on the list are Homo sapiens. Homo sapien means wise man. Homo sapiens made more complex tools, were skilled hunters, and they created artwork. They had rounded skulls, large brains, small teeth, and slender bones, but they were not as well adapted to the cold weather as Neanderthals. This is a group of hominin that modern humans are in. Once Homo sapiens had food and shelter, they spent their time creating art. Here are some examples from cave paintings. Even their tools were more complex. They made needles, hooks, and the spear thrower. Perhaps Homo sapiens' imagination and creativity is what set them apart from other hominins. Again, in review of this week's Peppy List, I covered five important topics. Hominins, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Neanderthals, and Homo sapiens.